coffee clatchers. It is February, Monday, February 15th, and I hope everyone had a, a lovely Valentine's Day yesterday. Um, we had lunch at some friends, and Denver had a soccer game last night, so it was a it was a nice Valentine's Day here, too. Um, good morning, Ruby. Um, <laughs> Rob is not a real big, you know, celebrator of Hallmark holidays, so um, yeah, it was, you know, it was nice. It was just family, and it is, so today is a happy Monday. <laughs> You're right, Joan, it is a happy Monday. Good morning, Jennifer, Nancy. Um, nice to have you all along this morning. So I'm trying to feel some sympathy for our Southern peeps that um, are being hammered with some snow and cold. I, you know, that's what we usually get here, you know, from November till April. But I think they're not quite as prepared for <laughs> the cold weather. So my heart goes out to you all, all you little Southern girls that are, freezing your little buns off this morning because um, <laughs> we're used to it. <laughs> oh yeah, it, and today it looks absolutely gorgeous out, but the wind chill is minus 24. So <laughs> Rob did say that it was kind of the coldest day that he's felt for a while. So I'm gonna snuggle up here in the studio. It is President's Day today. Um, so it is a holiday um, for, you know, for many, the bank, post office, so you won't be getting cute cards from me today. Um, and Ella's off from school. I am sure she's still snuggled in bed and sound asleep, but, um, you know, it's all good. <laughs> so I have a very, very simple little card for you this morning, and we're going to use the True Love Designer paper. So the um, True Love paper is in the, you know, kind of the Valentine wedding anniversary suite, and I thought I would just make a really cute little card. So uh, I'm going to flip you all around. Oh, you had a tour delay, Rebecca. That's interesting. Um, and it is a great day to craft. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that today. Oops, and I don't know why this is in the way. I'm trying to figure that out. One of these days, I'll get this together. Don't hold your breath, though. All right. Just ignore that little black piece of... Let's see, maybe if I go this way. I don't want to wreck it. Oh, well. <laughs> that's right, Rebecca, you're homeschooling. <laughs> Girl, that's great. Good idea. I, I, I believe in that too. So, um, <clears throat> so the card I'm making today is super simple. It's, um, crazy simple. And I have just cho chosen to use the true love paper, um, blushing bride. Cause I had some of that in a, um, box there and I'm using Blackberry Bliss. Super simple, but I have a couple of cute things to um, share with you. So today is President's Day and I don't care what side of the fence you're on um, in um, politics. I'm not a real big, I don't like politics. So this is going to be where I stand on politics. Kind people are my kind of people. And so that I thought would be a very appropriate um, sentiment for, for President's Day today. And um, I'm, I want to use the Simply Succulents um, stamp set this week. And so I thought I would just dig it out and um, work with it this morning. All I'm going to do is find a block that's big enough. Let's hope today is not quite the fiasco that Saturday's coffee clutch was. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So... Today I'm hoping is a little little more sane. Um, I'm not, you know, holding my breath for that one either because we are completely out of creamer. We have no half and half. We have no whipping cream. We have no milk. We forgot to grab some last night. <clears throat> so I've only had one cup of coffee and I had to use Denver's flavored creamer and I could barely choke it down. So I'm a little under caffeinated. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where this goes. So I just stamped kind people are my kind of people. And I'm gonna, Georgette is going to die cut this out for me. And let's just load her up. And I'm choosing to use the, um, the circle framelits, the layering, layering circles. Ooh, condensed milk. I haven't tried that. I probably have that, but I don't like it sweet. That's the problem. I mean, if I want sweet, then I'm going to get the expensive Starbucks stuff when it's kind of a, a frou-frou latte, but we'll see. <laughs> I could always run to the grocery store. It's not that far, and it's not that cold. <clears throat> so kind people are my kind of people, and so I'm just going to layer that on a little piece of vellum. I mean, it's, it's looking kind of cute just like that. I, I could, <laughs> but we've got more. 
So um, this designer paper is beautiful in just plain black and white. Um, let me show you some things that you can do with it. And for those of you that like color booking, you know who I am or who you are. Um, the ones that are, you know, you like to color. Um, there's some of us that like to fussy cut and some of us like to color. And um, this is a beautiful paper um, for that because it has black and white images that are supplied and all you have to do is color them. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, I'm just gonna grab a little piece of this. Oh, see, I think I did this at another at another coffee clutch. Just color that in. Um, it is really, really cute. So I like this black and white paper. Um, another thing that you can do is, um, I, let's see, where's, okay, so you can take your negative and you can go ahead and sponge in the opening and then color in the images that are you know, kind of a spotlighting technique. That looks kind of cute as well, um, if you don't want to color the whole thing. Um, you can also take another negative and you know, use a shape. So this was spotlit with hearts. So, <laughs> so that's another way to go. But what I was gonna do this morning for you and I'm sorry, Jackie, if you are here, I am going to die cut this out because I like to, or not die cut, I'm going to scissors cut this out. I'm going to fussy cut because I like to fussy cut. I know, weird. But it, it for me, it's just, I, I, I think it's therapeutic. So we have these new blending brushes and they are the bomb diggity. Um, some people, you know, go ahead and get a, a brush in every color, um, but I find that, um, you could easily, you know, keep one for reds and all you got to do is just rinse it out and it'll be fresh and ready to go. So I am going to just take the Blushing Bride and I am just going to color. These are just fun. And I, it does a similar, it has a similar look to what your um, stamping sponges or your sponge daubers, but I think it has a more uniform look than the sponge daubers. So that's that. And let's try, I like pear pizzazz. You know, that's my favorite green. And I'm just going to sponge that there. And it would be pretty just like that. Just leaving it just like that. All right, and because we want a little pop there in the center, I am just going to grab my Blackberry Bliss Blend. And we're just going to color that center in a little bit. Okay move those out of the way. I'm just going to take my scissors and we are going to fussy cut that out. Sorry, Jackie. Let me get it out of here first. <laughs> You're right, Wendy. You could color like this. I'll order you a couple of these brushes, right? <laughs> I mean, because it is so fun. It really works pretty well. And the best part is, is you don't have to stay in the lines. All right. And like I said, I, I only have a set of three of these brushes and like what I'll do is here shortly, I'll just run in the house, rinse it out under running water and um, it, the, the bris bristles might be stained, but um, it will be clean and ready to go for the next time. I have tried washing it on like a baby wipe um, here in the studio and it didn't, ha I was not a big fan of that. Um, it almost seemed like the bristles kind of, I don't know, they weren't quite as soft after washing it with a baby wipe, I found that running it under <clears throat> running water was the best way to go. So, and again, you would not have to fussy cut this out. I'm just fussy cutting it out because I like to. Um, you could easily color this whole paper just with your brushes or sponge daubers or markers, however you feel, but I thought it would be kind of fun to incorporate the black and white and um, the color here. So here is how my card is going to go. And we're gonna add the kind people are my kind of people. And I think it should probably have either some gems or maybe some gems or ribbon. Let's see what I got here. Um, I got 
I got pearls. That would be kind of fun. We could do that. <clears throat> so that is why you need some of this beautiful True Love designer paper. I know you didn't get it in time for Valentine's Day, but there are so many other ways to use this paper. So it's not pretty. Let's stick one right up here. So, there we go. I will glue that together and share that. So <laughs> it is just a fun way to use this True Love paper. Um, and again, I just like the kind people are my kind of people. That's a beautiful saying. So. Um, I'm hoping to finish up the um, the chocolate, redo the chocolates and chicks cards for you on <laughs> from the fiasco from Saturday and um, get this shared with you too. So you all have a very, very warm and um, sunny and beautiful Monday and I am going to go try to find some coffee. <laughs> Thanks again, Stamping Peeps. Toodles. Toodles.